So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover another amazing lab that is auto scaling tensorflow model deployments with tf serving and kubernetes so first of all click on start lab and after that open the console incognito window click on i understand and if a pop-up comes just click on agree and continue and just activate your cloud shell so as you can see these are the tasks which you have to complete first we have to download the lab files so for that just activate the cloud shell it will take some time meanwhile if you haven't subscribed the channel subscribe it and like the video so finally the cloud shell is ready now from here just download the repository it will take some time so wait for it now let me increase the text size create a cluster so for that first we need to set the project and export the zone so just set it and hit enter now wait for some time so finally it has been updated now for creating the cluster copy this command and paste on your cloud shell this will take 10 to 15 minutes, sometimes even less, so wait for it now. So finally after waiting for some time the cluster has been created now what you can do you can go back to the lab instruction and check my progress for the task number one that is cluster creation so let's do it and if you want to view the cluster cluster credentials you can do it now first of all we have to create a bucket so just copy the bucket name and just paste over here so just paste this so we have created a storage bucket and uploaded a model file in it now we have to create a config map so for that if you just paste it you won't get full score let me show you if you run this like this you won't be able to get score because the problem is here you have not updated Let's the bucket click on the cloud storage like this and the bucket page will open from there we will navigate towards the bucket so from here you have to just click on the bucket so as you can see on the left side there is bucket just click on it and once you have clicked on it it will reload itself and you will be able to see the bucket you just have created just now here you have to click on this bucket because we have to export the name of this bucket first of all remove this unwanted pop-up also click on it now copy the name carefully and what you need to do just replace the bucket name here so once you have copied the bucket name what you need to do go to the notepad and from here to here just replace the bucket and just copy whole command and paste on your cloud shell session again now what you need to do is just go back to the lab here scroll down a bit and here just click on this apply so it will just apply the recent change so no need to worry about it just click on hit check my progress we will get the score definitely now for the task number five we have to create a tensorflow serving deployments so first of all run this and then wait for the status to get one out of one let me show you when you will run this to view the deployment you will be able to see it's zero one one changes to one into one one by one then we will be able to get the score so wait for it it will take one to two minutes so just wait and run this again so it's now ready now we have to just expose the deployment so just expose it so it's done now we have to create a service so just run this and after that if you want to get check my progress you'll get the score without any issue and sometimes it may take time so wait for it so if you are unable to get the score there may be two reasons 
the first one this uh, one is the you made any mistake or rather the lab takes time to update the score so now we have to run this to get the ports make sure you have run this and after that we'll be testing the model so if you hit check my progress you won't get the score instantly you need to wait for some time let's see so the target is not updated so wait for a few more minutes as you can see these are the next step which we have to do so even if you don't do you will get the score like if you score 90 out of 100 you will get the lab done so no need to worry about it you can just wait for some more time so yes we got the score now as you can see we got 90 out of 100 what you can do is you can just verify you can just end the lab you can see in the activity section is showing as done so no need to worry about it we can 